The hit series Manifest is unlike anything we've seen before. The series follows the passengers of Flight 828 who went missing for five and a half years and were presumed to be dead. After they came back, none of them had aged a day, but they all inherited an ability to hear callings to be able to save people and each other. So stay tuned and don't go away because Manifest Season 4 is on the way. And here's seven quick things we know about the new season. First up, what can we expect from Season 4? You are about to find out. From a new streaming platform to various cast replacements, there are plenty of things to know about the series before it comes back following the unanticipated cliffhanger in the third season's finale episode. Here's what you can expect from Season 4 of Manifest. Despite initially passing on Manifest and claiming that it wasn't the right fit for the platform, Netflix ultimately decided to pick up the series for a fourth and final season, and announced it on August 28th, or 828 Day. A coincidence? We think not. This isn't the first time Netflix has saved a series from cancellations. Back in 2018, the streaming giant saved Designated Survivor and Lucifer from impending doom. Lucifer had big success on Netflix, and it saw three additional seasons. Manifest was really successful on Netflix after the first three seasons, and talks started back up in the summer of 2021 until Netflix ultimately decided to give fans what they wanted. The upcoming fourth season will be lengthened to include a total of 20 episodes. This is more than what Netflix shows have for a single season, but considering that Manifest was originally planned to have six seasons, it makes sense. We're unsure how the episodes will be divided, but it seems likely it'll just be 10 episodes for the first half and 10 episodes for the second half. It's important to note that this is also the biggest season of the series, as season one had 16 episodes and seasons two and three only had 13. Next up, who won't be returning to season four of Manifest? Let's take a look. The majority of the cast will be coming back, however. There are two that won't be, and for good reason. Following the season three finale, when Grace Stone, played by Athena Karkanis, was stabbed to death, and her son Cal, played by Jack Messina, returned five and a half years later after touching the tailfin, Karkanis and Messina will not be coming back. Messina wished his former TV cast members and the crew good luck with the upcoming season on social media. But with two main stars exiting the show, there will be a couple of additions for the final season. Daryl Edwards, who portrays NSA director Robert Vance, has finally been added to series regular status after appearing as a recurring character for the show's first three seasons. Meanwhile, now that Cal is older, Ty Duran, who appeared as Cal in the final minutes of season three, will be replacing Messina. So the two will have a bigger part in season four, and with the truth about Flight 828 getting closer to being revealed, who can expect anything to happen? Following the NBC's surprise decision to cancel Manifest, fans made it their mission to use campaigns to try and save this show. After the first two seasons were made available, the series skyrocketed to the top of the charts and nearly broke a major record at one point. Netflix didn't pick up the series at first, but after seeing how popular it was doing, fans were hopeful that the streamer would reverse the decision. Following a long and agonizing summer, news broke in late August that Manifest was indeed saved. Up next, when did season four start production? Let's find out. In late 2021, the cast and crew of Manifest went back to work to begin production on the fourth and final season in November. Much of the cast excitedly posted photos to their social media accounts from the table read, and creator Jeff Rake got in on the we're back action by posting a BTS photo on Twitter from the set in New York City. Manifest originally had a six season plan, but that came to an an abrupt end when NBC canceled the series. Now that Netflix picked it up for a 20 episode finale season, fans can't help but wonder if this means that not everything will be included. Creator Jeff Rake does what he does and got creative and came up with multiple ways that the show can have a proper finale, which includes telling the story the way it's supposed to be told. And we've been assured that this won't change with only 20 episodes left. In a recent interview, Rake said, when I've talked in the past about having a roadmap all the way to the end of the series, that didn't mean that I had a roadmap for literally every single episode. I have a roadmap with a series of twists and turns and flags in the sand that we would ultimately hit in order to tell the core stories within our mythology and within our relationship drama. So it will not be a particularly difficult exercise to overlay that same exact roadmap onto 20 episodes. It will be quite organic.
Greg. Stay tuned and don't go away because Manifest Season 4 is on the way and we're giving you all the latest info. Next up, what did critics say about Manifest when it first aired? Let's have a look. As you're about to see, when the Manifest first aired, the reviews from critics were less than flattering. In 2018, film critic Margaret Lyons said, There are worse crimes in the TV world than being unoriginal, and Manifest, a new drama on NBC premiering Monday, is decidedly unoriginal. But worse than that, it's just so boring. The premise certainly sounds cool. Flight 828 takes off from Jamaica, has a brief bout of turbulence, and then lands. Except somehow five and a half years have passed back on the ground, even though only a few hours have transpired for everyone on board. A mysterious plane incident show immediately conjures memories of Lost. There are also obvious strains of The 4400, a show that ran on USA from 2004 to 2007, in which 4,400 people were missing and presumed dead for years reappear en masse, not having aged at all, and now all have subtle superpowers. Neither Lost nor The 4400 is flawless, but they were both always trying to make interesting choices. Lyons harshly criticized Manifest for making the least interesting choices possible and decided to be a generic, joyless cop show. Up next, what else did Lyons have to say about the show initially? Let's dig a little deeper. According to Lyons, Michaela starts hearing a voice urging her in vague ways. She insists a bus driver to slow down and that saves a child who runs out into the street. She frees some dogs, which leads to a big revelation, though not in a fun way. And hey, there was a cancer doctor on the flight too, and maybe her research is going to save that little nephew after all. Is everyone from the flight developing superpowers? Is everyone connected in a quest for the greater good? Is the number 828, which keeps popping up, meaningful in ways that surpass human understanding? Probably, but also who cares? Lyons felt that writing and manifest failed to propel the plot forward, and she points to the example of a cancer doctor, whom has missed five years of research, is amazed to learn her hypotheses have led to the revolutionary new treatment, is an intriguing concept that could make for a compelling subplot, but she points out that the plot point is ruined when her colleagues say, we can't save everyone. Lyons and other critics would argue that this is an overused line of dialogue, used on several Doctor shows. In short, it's lazy writing. Film critic Daniel Feinberg watched the pilot episode a few years ago and said, this is part of why I'd rather have multiple episodes to review off of, because all I can speculate based on the pilot is that either none of the characters on that airplane are interesting, or else the pilot made a huge mistake in terms of which characters to lead with. The stones are simply dull. They're very pretty, mind you, and they're very earnest. Watching Dallas here, you'd never know he was convincingly charming enough to play Prince Charming on a TV show. If you're a TV critic, you'd be relieved that Roxburgh is less hilariously miscast than she was on the CW's Valor, though the pilot can't figure out how to make her at all convincing as a tough-as-nails cop, nor is there even a hint of a spark in Michaela's time-thwarted romance with J.R. Ramirez's Jared. Finally, what else did the film critic Margaret Lyons have to say about the initial launch of the film? Back in 2018, Lyons said, NBC only made one episode of Manifest available to critics, and it's possible the show will blossom into a spiritually engaging and action-packed drama. I'm skeptical about its long-term promise, though, because whatever premise, whatever mystery, whatever saga a show tries to create still rests on the viability of its characters, on how much they seem like people worth spending time with. And no one here feels like a person in the first place. So as you can see, when the series initially aired, there was much doubt about how good it would be. This is often the case as critics are often cynical about TV shows at first, but in later seasons, critics began to change their tunes and realized that the show really was something special. That's a wrap for today's video. Thanks for watching until the end.